today we'll discuss words etymologically but then we'll try to connect to certain friends that we know we'll try to find or rather talk about the kind of friends that we have we do have some egoistic friends some altruistic friends some introverted friends some extroverted friends some loquacious some extremely talkative but how do we connect the roots to these and try to understand the precise meaning and probably try to find words which are connected to these kind of words through roots so for example if i start off by calling myself an egoist ego sometimes is a positive term sometimes a negative term say for example i am in a wonderful relationship and i am just subservient to my girlfriend whatever she says i am going to do everything for her some close friend of mine with a well wisher will come and ask me don't you have an ego don't you want to let some things go if such is the statement here the ego used is positive but there are times where in a general classroom if you're not able to understand what i mean but you don't or rather you stop yourself from asking doubts here probably the feeling of myself and how could i ask such a silly doubt to a teacher does come in and here it's a negative side of an ego any person who possesses ego or the feeling of i or the feeling of me is called an egoist tweaking the word a little bit takes me to the word egotist egotist by spelling itself has an additional t in it i can try and associate it to talking and make the remembering of the word easier egoist does have ego egotist also has ego egotist makes sure that you know that he has ego he talks about his ego the same egotist grows to the next level of becoming mad about himself he thinks that everything around him is because of him he becomes self obsessed in the process such a person can be called an egomaniac mania is madness oh i think some of you might be fans of wrestlemania and this particular generation has seen rithik mania also mania is madness and the same thing extended to egomania is obsession about oneself there are a lot of power houses or rather extremely powerful people who think everything around is happening because of them such kind of personalities are called egocentrics oh you could find some directors or some captains of good sports teams they feel everything is happening because of them such characters are egocentrics catching the word root ego we had egoist egotist egocentric egomaniac all these words around the word ego which is the feeling of i there's another word which is alter ego alter it's a common usage we do go to a cloth store find a trouser we say i need to get it altered because the length needs to be altered means changed here the word is change on the other hand sometimes if i'm in a hurry to a classroom i jump one stair and jump the alternate stair here i use the word alternate alternate is jumping leaving one say for example i'm jumping on the first the third the fifth and the seventh stair i'll call it i'm jumping alternate stairs the word in question was alter ego that means either i say other self or i say changing oneself thinking a little deep and through it see i am very different when i am with my friends i'm far more open when i'm with my parents i try to probably restrict my opinion on certain topics now that self that is there in front of my parents the other self which is in front of my friends and the third self could be when i'm alone are our alter egos of myself or i would say one's other self on the other hand the ones who've had who have really close friends you know both of you would have spent so much time with each other that your school of thought or your thought process is exactly the same say for example there's a particular match a cricket match which is going on two friends are just looking at the match some particular incident in the match would have happened where we both have crossed each other's eyes and would have thought the same thing suddenly we would have probably clapped our hands or things like that it's just because our school of thoughts matched 
both of us will be alter egos of each other means one's other self so one's other self could be various personalities that i carry or one's other self could be a good friend of mine where the thought process is similar here the word was alter the third kind of a friend see we just about discussed egoist we discussed alter so we would want to use the word altruist also altruist is somebody who thinks about others first before thinking about oneself our mom is a classic example of being an altruist somebody who can never let us go until she thinks that she served us first that's an altruist if we move to the third personality or rather the, the kind of friends that we have would be introvert or probably an extrovert see introvert intro is turned in verto is turning so when i say introvert is somebody whose feelings are turned inward extrovert is somebody who expresses himself openly not every person is typically either an introvert or an extrovert there are people who find the right people in front of they can open up or they find the right situations where they can open their mouth they are selective and expressive and such kind of people are ambiverts ambi is always both sides see we are we are familiar with the word ambiguous which is confusion that means if i am given two to three options i am equally confused between both of them that is an ambiguous option i can extend the same ambi word ambiguous the root ambi and take it to ambidextrous there was a nice little cartoon on cartoon network called the dexter's lab dexter there was a name but symbolic to somebody who is extremely talented dexterous is somebody who is skillful similarly or probably another word which just extends the same meaning is adroit dexter was skillful dexterous is skillful adroit is also skillful here if i move into the opposite or probably something which is reasonably lazy looking or reasonably which is not so well kept it's gosh dexter somehow see we are in india and here we do symbolically say that if we have to get a prasad extend the right hand if we have to gift somebody something extend the right hand why don't we use left hand here is something which we don't know it's out of practice only that it has happened that good things are to be done with the right and not so good things or probably the ones which are not symbolically correct are done with the left hand dexterous has an implication of somebody skillful and has a tinge towards right handedness gauchery or gauche is towards left handedness adroit was the other word that we used for dexter which also means skillful ambidextrous was the word where we had started the discussion and ambidextrous means somebody who is skillful with both the hands a classic example would be virus in the movie three idiots the way he used to fill up the board it was surprising because he was extremely talented and with both the hands such people are called ambidextrous another set of people the friends that we have are the ones whom we we'll never leave when we go for a party such kind of people are extremely sociable truly lively to the sense of the word if we are going for a party we generally ensure the first person who is called up is the one who is the most loquacious of all of us loquacious is from the root loquer loquer means to talk so when i say loquacious he is extremely talkative if we pick that word there are more common words which we would have used probably not knowing the root circumlocution circum is beating around the bush so circumlocution is somebody who beats about the bush for any particular topic here probably the first example that comes to our mind is a politician if he is in a mess he'll avoid any direct answer to a direct question that's when he is beating about the bush and we call it circumlocution when we talk about politicians one such politician who comes up to the mind is navjot singh sidhu he can just express a simple thing in such grandiloquent manner that it becomes difficult to comprehend what he meant the word that i mentioned just about is grandiloquent 
which is in such heavy words that the same description of something extremely light also becomes very difficult to digest grandiloquent magniloquent both of them mean the same here the word loker is for talk and grand or magnum is for something huge so grandiloquent and magniloquent both mean somebody who expresses in such heavy words that even a simple discussion seems very heavy to the ears one more word here is something which shri sant used to do on the ground talking to himself when he used to go back to bowl that's called talking to oneself so solo locker it's called soliloquy soliloquy sometimes or rather majority of the times is done when you are alone and for introspection purposes this brings us to the end of a session where we have discussed a set of words which we can safely associate to our friends depending on their personality types